Look at that face. Can anyone say no to that face? Oh, all right. Hello, Pamela. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing today? And we have the lovely little Relish yeah. from California Labs and More. Yeah. And she is how old? Um, Relish is about 12 weeks old. They weren't born with us, so it's an estimate as to how old they are. Uh, ketchup and mustard have already been adopted. So this is Relish. She's, um, she's the last condiment pup that's available for adoption. So that's how you'll see her listed on our website. I love it. So we're obviously here um, at a Pites and Paws event highlighting all of the great things that your rescue organization does. But she also serves as an ambassador to what you guys do within your program. So can you explain exactly how the process of being a foster parent, how it goes and how that works. Absolutely, so anybody who's interested in fostering for the organization starts by applying online. Um, one of the team of people that uh, works to approve our fosters will give you a call, do an interview. Part of it's to figure out sort of your situation. Do you have an apartment or a house? Um, do you have a special setup that would work with puppies or would an adult dog be a better fit for you? And so they talk with you about some of those things. Um, having a yard is not a requirement of fostering. Um, as long as the person applying is able to get the dog out for walks a couple times a day. Um, not every foster family is a fit for every foster dog. And so that's the other thing that's good too is that um, we work with the foster families that are interested in giving back to the community, helping out, helping save dogs to find a dog that's a good fit for them. That's really important. Now, when you talk about bringing a new puppy into a new home, there's a lot of learning that happens for people, but also for the puppies as well. Now, we were talking earlier before we started taping and we were discussing the importance of training. Now, how important do you think training is for a young puppy like Relish? Well, they say that training is just as much for the person <laughs> as it is for the puppy. Um, and that's been true for me because we usually foster adult dogs, but she needed a place to go and I couldn't put her back in the kennel, so I said that we would foster her. Um, uh, zero to six months, you can't recreate that. And so I think that um, you know, when you bring a new dog into your home, making sure that you get them started out, um, shall we say, on the right paw. Um, <laughs> the right paw, I'm all about you know, that. Start off on the right paw. Once they're fully vaccinated, once it's safe for them to be around other dogs, making sure that they're out, making sure that they're experiencing things, learning things, tiring out their brain is just important as tiring out their body. Um, wouldn't you say? I think so. I think and San Diego's a great place to do it, right? With the beaches and the parks and everything that we have. Absolutely. It's incredible. A well socialized dog in San Diego is a lot of fun because there's so many things that you can do with them. So. Absolutely. All right, so we are going to continue having a great potty here. <laughs> We're having a potty. Um, highlighting this lovely puppy that's available for adoption. And finally, do you have a website that the network can find you? Yeah, absolutely. So anybody interested in fostering, adopting, um, volunteering, transporting, the list goes on www.labsandmore.org um, and we're excited to continue to grow and help dogs here in San Diego.